as I was going through paralegal course number one or two and I'm thinking about what I'm hearing about how people research things so like me I sent an email to KeithCampaign.org my congressional leader and I asked him to take a look at these four cases one was social security one was police one was school one was Department of Human Services under my medical dental malpractice and he sent me a response that said he would get back to me through an automatic response and that's when I thought he got an illegal national security lock on my phone and then he began to monitor me and watch everything I did and said from that point on to what I consider to be a high level of A1 technology where I was feeling insecure and I began to take the battery out of my phone because I thought he was GPSing me. I thought he was FaceTiming me. I thought he was stealing my identity, dating back to Social Security, like I said, where somebody gave my mother advice or my mother just woke up one day and said, call Social Security. So I paid that rent to Brinks. I got like 3900 4900 from Social Security or something. I gave my mom like 1900 My rent at that time was 300 I gave the landlord like 1800 And then me and Michael Cooper Sr. lived above Brinks for six months based on me paying that rent because I needed a place to stay. I've always paid my rent. And even at that time, I didn't get a rent rebate from my landlord because we were removed for non-payment. But he didn't take me to court. He just asked me to move because I didn't pay the rent. And out of the kindness of my heart, I, I moved so he didn't have to take me to court. I don't remember going to court about Brent's apartment. That was my very first apartment. Brent's rent was 300 I worked at Tony's Food Market. And I made $5 an hour. I worked 40 hours a week.